Hey there again, hope you're doing well. So if you're going on a trip or staying somewhere without electricity, maybe after a power bank, <laughs> that would get through airport security, but give your phone, wireless, audio, and other devices the maximum battery life possible. But without special tools or destroying the power bank to look at the battery inside, are you actually going to get the power you paid for? And how would you even find out? Well, there are 10 things you absolutely need to know. Stay tuned and let's get into it. So the maximum capacity of power bank you can take through airport security is 100 watt hours or 27,000 milliamp hours, according to the FAA. Airlines can allow more with authorization as some like BA provide automatic authorization with certain conditions, but sticking to 100 watt hours is a safe bet. So choosing just means finding a 100 watt hour with a good rating, right? Well, not quite. There are other factors which we'll get into, but even if you buy a power bank, are you actually getting the advertised capacity? Well, in my experience, no. You get a much lower capacity and fewer charges than you'd expect. But how can you know? Well, the capacity of your phone is measured in milliamp hours and will go down over time. But there's a free app, Capacity Info, to measure how much it has left and how much it's been charged by. Similar apps are available for Apple devices like coconut batteries. Now, by using these apps while plugging your phone into your power bank, you can work out how much charge your phone will need and how much charge is really available in your power bank. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. Now, I hate buying stuff. I feel compelled to find the best value, but with hundreds of options, where do you start? Well, maybe like me, you look for the cheapest with a good reviewer rating or brand, right? I settled on this product, the Axner Powerbank 26,800 mAh Fast Charging Portable Charger, which has a good 4.3 stars and has the most capacity one can take through airport security. But if you scour through the reviews, they're a little mixed, with some reviewers desperate to tell you there are problems. Well, since it met the maximum airport friendly capacity and had a good rating, I bought it. But those few reviews questioning the capacity turned out to be right. Using the Capacity Info app, I recorded the percentage the charger went down by against the number of milliamp hours the phone went up by, and calculated it would fully recharge my Samsung S9 phone's fairly small 3000 milliamp hour battery around five times, rather than the nine times you'd expect were at the capacity advertised. Now, even assuming a pessimistic 80% charging efficiency, the max battery capacity is around 20,000 milliamp hours, which is much less than the claimed 27,000. And practically, you get five full charges rather than the nine you might expect from the headline figure. Now, of course, the phone is using a bit of battery while being charged, but we're talking about an hour of idle per charge, so that's fairly negligible. So, in short, if you're going to need more than five charges between charges of the power bank itself, then you'll be disappointed. If you don't have a percentage display on your power bank, then just count how many full charges or your phone's battery capacity you get before the bank runs out. Two now, if you're getting value, do consider subscribing for unsponsored mobile audio and tech videos and to join the high quality, high value community. I'm a top 1500 Amazon Vine reviewer, but being honest doesn't get you free products to review. Now, importantly about flight compatibility, this charger is marked as under 27,000 milliamp hours or 100 watt hours so happily should present no problems when carried in hand luggage. Capacity is of course important, but so is speed of charging with fast charging cables and multiple outputs for charging devices simultaneously. But the cable supplied is not fast charging, so with cheap chargers, it may be best to ensure it has ports rather than fitted cables to ensure a fast charge, and so that when the cable inevitably breaks or is too short, the charger is not rendered useless. The Axneb cable works, but it's a fairly short 25cm USB-C cable and is not fast charging capable, something you can't tell at a glance by the way. So balance the flexibility of being able to use your own length and speed of cables against chargers with cables built in, if you're likely to forget to bring your charging cable. The charger is rated at 25 watts output, so fine for phones, but not laptops that can need up to 70 watts, and I found it charged my phone as fast as my regular mains power charger. QC4 didn't mean much to me, but the specs are on screen if the feature of that version, like cable quality detection, matter to you. Clearly, size and weight matter for carry-on luggage, and around 6 inches by 3 inches by half an inch thick, and weighing in at around 300 grams, the Axneb is very manageable. The display is a real advantage over some banks that just have lights, since the remaining capacity is clear, whereas with four lights, say, it's not. For example, what does two out of four lights lit mean? Certainly, it's not just exactly 50%, but it could mean anywhere between one light presumably 25% and three lights 75%. The number of simultaneous devices charging is good with three, though one of those is via USB-C rather than USB-A. 
The display switches off shortly after charging starts and the charger seems to switch off once the device you're charging is fully charged. The display can be turned on with one click and will turn off after about 30 seconds. You can turn off the display with a double click but that also turns the charging off so just leave it turned off by itself. It's tempting to see how much charge is left in the charger while charging a device but turning the display on stops the charging for a second or so. Just plug it in and the display lights up and charging starts. The time and ease of charging the power, That's the power of love. is good. With two inputs, micro USB charges in 11 hours and USB charges in 5 hours with a fast charging cable. It shows 100% available after even a week of storage, so it should stay adequately charged for a good while after charging. So I got the Axneb on deal for £20, so a very fast airport compatible compact way to recharge my phone quickly 5 times with reliable capacity info and being able to recharge the power bank itself overnight. It's worth it to me. Ok, it's under the advertised capacity and the supplied cable doesn't fast charge, but the size, weight, speed, capacity, display and convenience of this power bank are reasonable for the deal price. Now I'm sure there are better charges and ones don't lie, but I've got better things to do with my life than hunt for the perfect one. Ok, maybe I haven't, but this one is ok for my needs and good enough value at a discounted price. And if not discounted, put it in your cart, save it for later and you'll be alerted when deals come along. Leave a comment if you've found a power bank with a real 100 watt out or a better deal. But as always, thanks for watching and to my subscribers and I'll see you next time. Bye.